hey. <laughs> okay, my sound crew in the back was telling me I forgot my line. Yeah. Hey, hey look at we're at lesson 11.2. Yeah, uh, we just did 11.1, and now we're doing 11.2. We're still in geometry. Yeah, and we're looking at triangulos. I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Triangles. That's right, my friends. We have an essential question. This is our learning target. This is what it's all about. Yes, it's about how can you classify triangles. Yeah, we were identifying them last time, some figures, and now we're going to classify them and put them into groups. I like it. Okay, but first, we can't do any of that unless we unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay, it says if you do blah, 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 blah. It says if you look closely at Epcot, Center's Spaceship Earth Building in Orlando, Florida, I think that's how that's pronounced, you may see a pattern of triangles. The triangle outlined in the pattern at the right has three congruent sides and three acute angles. Okay, cool, let's take a look at that. Uh, camera guy, <coughs> the triangle. What? What do you mean you're eating your lunch? Move the camera, come on, they're watching. Ah, thank you. It's hard to get good help these days. There you go. There it is right there. Wow. Pretty cool. Yep. I like I can see it. What type of triangle is outlined? Hmm. Kind of looking like an equilateral triangle, but let's find out. It says complete the sentence that describes each type of triangle. It says classify triangles by the lengths of their sides. And on the other side, we have classify triangles by the measures of their angles. All right. So we're looking at sides and angles. Okay. Well, it says an equilateral triangle has blank congruent sides. So we learned maybe in the last video, if you recall, we had these little lines go bloop there. Cool, see? That lets us know that each one of those sides are congruent, meaning the same. So it has three of them because it's a triangle. I mean, hello. So in an isosceles triangle has how many congruent sides? Well, look, it has this indicating that that's congruent. With that one over there, I'm going to say two. Yes. Two, one, blue, two, two. Okay. <laughs> I know. I can't sing. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, classify triangles by the measures of their angles. A right triangle has one 90 degree ooh, angle. Or we say right angle. It's a right angle. Of course, it's a right angle because it's right here. Woo. Yeah. Right angle. And this is kind of easy. An acute. Oh, it's like it's sort of cute. Because, and there is an acute angle right there. Because it's less than 90 degrees. And it has, an acute triangle has three. Cute, maybe? Yeah. Oh, I lost my purple. Ha-ha. No, I didn't. Woohoo! Mr. Wara does magic. Woohoo! Pulled the rabbit out of the hat. Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun. Okay. What's that? Now it says this type of triangle outlined in the pattern can be classified by the length of its sides as in blank. Okay, so the one that we saw in the pattern there, yeah, we can take a look at it again. Doop. Yeah, the camera guy, by the way, he's out to lunch. I had to get a replacement. So there you go. There it is. You can see that all the sides are equal and they're congruent and the angles are congruent. So that has to be an equilateral. Will it fit in here? Probably not equal, I think it's spelled this way, lateral, because lat means side. There we go. Now it says a triangle that can also be classified by the measures of its angles as in blank triangle. And that would be an acute triangle. Why? Well, because look at, so their three angles are acute angles because they're less than, they're less than 90 degrees. Okay. And this would be the acute Angles are less than 90. And it just so happens that our equal out, blah, 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 our equilateral triangle actually has three angles, and each one has to be 60 because there's 180 degrees in every single triangle that has ever been drawn in the history of time. Ooh, that makes it sound so dramatic. It's so true. I think I'm done here. Is an equilateral triangle also a regular polygon? Uh, it is. We already kind of learned that. Yes. Okay. Move on. Woo! Yay. Okay. Now it looks like, ooh, it's hands-on. It's the purple hands guy. Yeah. Okay. 
classify triangle ABC by the length of its sides and by the measure of its angles. Ooh, I'm going to need a centimeter ruler and a protractor. I have to see if I've got some of that stuff here in smart software. Step one says measure the size of the triangle using a centimeter ruler. Label each side with its length. Classify the triangle by the lengths of its sides. And then two we're going to do measure the angles of the triangle using a protractor. Label each angle with its measure. Classify the triangle by the measure measures of its angles. Whoa! This is like pretty heavy here because you can see here at the top it says what type of triangle has three sides of different lengths. Maybe that's what this one has. What is the what is an angle called that is greater than 90 degrees and less than less than 180? Okay, well let me see if I can get some equipment here. I'll be back. Hey, look, I'm back. Woohoo! I know. It's like I wasn't even gone. I know. That's called editing. Okay, so here I have a centimeter ruler. Look at, and I think I can actually twist this around. Now he's kind of large. Now if I shrink him down, obviously that's going to alter the lengths too. But as long as I don't change it each time. So I'm just going to use the numbers I have here. Line it up at the zero point, not the end of the actual ruler, but where zero would be. And looking at that, it looks like 65, 66. I'm going to say 66 uh, millimeters or 6.6 .6 centimeters. I know. Does that mean that your answer is going to be the same? No, not at all. And that's because you I'm just using this here. So I, I have 6.6 .6 centimeters. I think the idea here is that they're not all going to have the same length, right? I think that's what's going to happen here. Okay, so now let me go ahead and measure this one. Moving this up to the line. Yep. Wow, that one went right to the end there. So you can see I have, of course, an estimate almost looks like 10 centimeters but it's actually it looks like it stops right before like a 9.9 .9. so we'll go for the 9.9 .9. now i'll do my last one okay and i got 4.8 so anyways what type of triangle has three sides of different lengths that's what i have here and you know what that guy is maybe you recall i don't know it's a scalene triangle let's go ahead and measure all the angles now I'll do the first one with you if you've never done this before and then i will just quickly measure the other two. So the key thing about measuring angles with a protractor is that you always want to make sure that you line up this uh, center here with the line right where the vertex is. You can see it's not lined up correctly here this way so I have to move this like so. So now I have my vertex lined up here and this is straight across. You can be careful we have numbers going in two different ways here right it can be kind of confusing but we're really measuring the angle is we're measuring this angle from here to here. Okay, this part right here. So you gotta be careful. We're not we don't want numbers over this way because that's not part of the triangle. We're trying to find this angle right here. And so that would mean that we would want to start with the zero going up. And it looks like it's exactly like 25 degrees. Okay. And so now you could just slide it over here and and oops. <laughs> Stay there, number you guys. Okay. Um and put this one here. And look at it, it's almost a, now we're gonna measure this angle. You see this line if it kept on going. We could get an idea, and it looks like it's about 30, I'm going to say 36, okay? So we have 25, 36, and then our last one's this one, but we're going to have to kind of rotate this one, right? Upside down to get the angle. I had 25 and 36, here's my zero right over here, making sure it's right there on that vertex, which is zero singular for vertices. And now I have my zero, and now again, I'm doing this angle, this large angle right here, okay, because this line with this line so that zero is going all the way and you can see it comes to oh my goodness it looks like 100 110 120 let's just say 120 okay so here we have 26 or 25 actually right this was 36 and then this one was 120. there we go with our numbers now it says what is an angle i mean what is an angle called that is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180. Uh, so we have to answer here that one is an obtuse. I don't know, you probably got this last year. Obtuse angle. So it's greater than 90, which means it could be 90, like 0.1, okay, all the way over up until 179 point, like 9 degrees, if you will. So that's the range of an obtuse angle. And we already talked about the one that's less than 90 and the cute because it's little, it looks cute. All right, triangle ABC is a, oh, that's two lines here, scaling obtuse 
triangle. That's what it is. Yeah, it's right there. Scalene because none of the sides were the same and obtuse because it had one angle that was greater than 90 degrees. Cool. All right, let's move down. Just try this. Draw the type of triangle described by the lengths of the, its sides and by the measures of its angle. Ooh, wow, we have, we have some work here. Okay, I'm wondering, should I just do this freehand or should I get my lines? I should probably get my lines. Uh, triangle by angle measure, okay. Triangle by length of sides. I see. So we have an acute, I'm looking at it this way because I've got to look at sideways, an acute scalene. Then we have an acute isosceles. And then have an obtuse scalene, which we just had one up there. And an obtuse isosceles. Okay, I'm assuming. Think, I need to draw a triangle that is acute and scalene. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and just drew all my figures. And that way I'll just go over them to save a little bit of time on the video. So here we have an acute scalene. So scalene, if you recall, means no sides are equal, right? None of the sides are equal. None of the sides are equal. So that's what I attempted to do with this here. None of these sides are equal. Some of them might look kind of close here, but if you measured them, they wouldn't be the same. And acute means that every one of the angles in there has to be less than um, uh, 90 degrees. Okay, which you can see there are no right angles here, and they're all less than that. Okay, so that makes it scaling acute. But we also need an acute isosceles. Isosceles says two of the sides are equal. So these two sides are equal. Okay, in fact, depending on what definition you used of what math program? Actually, an isosceles triangle technically says at least two sides are equal. But I think they're teaching you guys is just exactly two sides are equal. But I don't think that's actually correct. But you'll know the difference between an isosceles and like an equilateral where they're all equal. Now we come over here. We have obtuse. Remember, that's 90 degrees, right? Or greater. And here we have that angle right here. That's 90 degrees or greater because the right angle would come, probably come down. Ooh, ooh, I really messed that up. Okay trying to draw a little dotted line and that one there means that and it's also scaling because none of these sides here are equal now we come over to isosceles these two sides are equal you can probably tell they look pretty equal but the angle here itself though look at it's greater than 90 degrees and that's the obtuse so we're matching that up with the isosceles and the obtuse the obtuse with the scaling acute with scaling and acute with isosceles okay i think that's it my friends yes it says, can you draw a triangle that is that is right equilateral? Not possible. Okay, and it's not possible because an equilateral means that all the sides are the same and all the angles are congruent. And so with a right angle, once you get that in there, you've got 90 degrees, you wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, anyway, I know the music's playing, my friends. It's so emotional. That's right, the end of the video, my friends. It's another video. You're gone. Yeah. Live long and prosper.